Welcome to my lecture online. Before we continue solving specific uh, partial differential equations, let's take a look at the general equation again, but under a special condition where b squared equals 4ac. Again, starting with the reduced form of the general equation to make it possible to solve the general equation and to make it aligned with the type of equations we'll be running into mostly. Again, realizing that if we take the coefficients c, b, and a, and we write as a quadratic equation of b over a, then we can solve it with the two solutions being minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2c, the solution to the quadratic formula. But when b squared equals 4ac and this goes to zero, we then realize we only have one solution, lambda 1 therefore equals lambda 2 equals minus b over 2c. And therefore, the two equations, the two uh, equations p1 and p2, which are linear equations of x and y, then actually are the same equation p1 equals p2 equals x minus b over 2cy. Since both of those are equal, we only have one coefficient here. Hmm. But we want to find the solution where we have it in this form, f of x plus ct plus g of x minus ct, where c is just some constant that we need to find. So how do we turn something like this into something like that? So the approach is similar to what we do in ordinary differential equations. We're going to then take the singular solution here and multiply it times another function of x and y. So where h is another linear function of x and y. So you can realize that there's a number of solutions that we can put in there in the form of uh, ax plus by. But let's try the simplest possible solution. Let's just simply go let h of x and y simply equal to x. If we do that, the equation becomes as follows. u of x, y, and of course I realize there's more than one possible solution, but let's take the simplest non-trivial solution, let h, uh, h equals x, so this becomes x times f, or maybe I don't need the parentheses there, so f of x minus b over 2cy. And then if we go ahead and write the general solution based upon that, we can then say that u as x and y can then be written as the first function f of x minus b over 2cy. And then we can write this as plus x times another function of x minus b over 2cy. And this then becomes the new general solution of the second or a second order partial differential equation when we have the condition where b squared equals 4ac, which means this term goes to zero. That means we only have one solution like this, which doesn't satisfy what we're looking for. We only have one form of the solution. We need the second form, and that second form will then take on this format, assuming that h then is equal to linear function of x and y. The simplest form of that would be simply saying h equals x, and that would be then the general solution of that simplest form. And that is how we go ahead and find the solution to a second order partial, dif partial differential equation when, um, when b squared equals 4ac. That's how it's done.